What's up, my friends? Welcome to the Christoph Lewis Podcast. This is Contemplation with Christoph, number 120 episode, number 283. Thank you so much for being here. I took, man, about a week and a half off completely of the podcast, and it was exactly what I needed. If this is your first time here, this is the first episode you've ever heard of the podcast. Thank you so much for being here. If you are returning, I really appreciate it. As you know, the last week has been absolutely crazy. Actually, the last couple of years, few years of my life have been bonkers. And for the first time in three years, I feel like I can finally live my life without ultimate fear. And that fear is because my daughter had to have surgery last Friday and it was absolutely terrifying and a lot of bad thoughts happened happened and a lot of bad thoughts went through my head and I felt like I couldn't help it. So I wanted to talk today. The episode is entitled Assume Good Intention and we'll get into a little bit more of that. But before we get into that, remember you can find this podcast in all podcast apps. Head over to Apple Podcasts and iTunes and rate five stars. Tell me what you like. Head over to YouTube, subscribe. All the episodes are on there now. For the longest time, I only had the conversations on there, the ones with the guests, but now I have both the conversations and the contemplations on there. Contemplations are these ones where it's just me. You can head over to the website, ChristophLewis.com forward slash podcast. You can find me on Instagram at Christoph Lewis, where I'm a a little bit more active than anywhere else, and I've been reading a couple books now. I've I've never been one to read multiple books at once. I'm almost finished Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday, but it's taking me forever just because of all the things that I kind of described in the beginning of this podcast, and then I had started The Coddling of the American Mind, which I am going to quote within this episode. But before we get into that, this week's conversation that came out on Monday was my 164th guest, and that was with Mr. Dennis Volpe, and Dennis was a United States Navy ship captain. He was at the top of the world in the Navy being a ship captain, and then he was let go. And he tells that story within the podcast and why that happened, and then how he came back on top. And it's it's crazy. It's like shit happens, man, in the world. Shit happens in our careers. Sometimes you can help them, sometimes you can't help them, but when you've busted your ass to get to a really high position, you're the top dog, and you take full responsibility. And if you're in the military, or I, I guess even any kind of company, like when you are the top, you assume the responsibility and the welfare of everybody that works below you. And that was something that Dennis shared with us. And it was really, really powerful. And another great episode where you're able to take a lot from the episode and apply to your life. And that's what I hope to do with these podcasts. So you may not agree with everything that I say in the episode. And that's great. I encourage that. I want you to be able to think about it as I'm saying and be like, what would I do differently? How would I say this differently? But maybe one of those things you can apply to your life. Today, I'm going to speak with you about assume good intention. So let's get into it. So as I said in the beginning of the episode, oh man, it's just, it's crazy. I could even say it more relieved now with like less weight on my shoulders, but Kennedy, uh, my daughter had, had surgery. I won't go into the details, but it's terrifying. And now she's got some sweet battle scars, zero complications. And we're in such a better place mentally. And she's in such a better place physically. And she doesn't even know it. She's so young, but um, wow, just so good to be past that. When you have something constantly at, not even the back of your head, but constantly at the front of your head, top of mind throughout your entire day and day in and day out, day in and day out. And I wanted to entitle this Assume Good Intention because, wow, I don't know if you're a parent or you don't have to just be a parent to know that when something has the potential to go sideways, you assume A lot of people, and I don't want to say a lot of people just because I'm this way, but from what I've talked to, from people I've talked to, a lot of us don't assume good intentions. We think the worst thing possible. So this is where I wanted to stop. And I've been reading The Coddling of the American Mind by Greg Lukinenoff. I'm sorry, I'm going to pronounce that name. And Jonathan Haidt, I'm also going to pronounce that name incorrectly, but it is The Coddling of the American Mind. And I'm not too far into it. And I was reading the book. I was like, wow, this is going to fit great into the episode I want to talk about this week. They were talking about catastrophizing. And essentially what that means is you have a train of thought of, if I fail this quiz, I'll fail the class and then I'll be kicked out of school and then I'll never get a job. And it's just this negative filtering and only paying attention to negative feedback instead of noticing praise as well. And it goes on to talk about how these distorted and irrational thought patterns are hallmarks of depression and anxiety disorders. And it got me thinking like not so much about the anxiety and the depression, but so much as the catastrophizing. And I was like, wow, I I do that on almost everything I do. And how negative is that? 
that, to be completely focused on the negatives in my life. And like, you're truly, when you're speaking about energy, you attract the energy. So like a simple example would be if you smile at other people, there's a good chance that you might get a smile back. You might get a middle finger occasionally from a jerk uh, or uh, this guy's crazy, but they're crazy. Like uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't be smiling at strangers and, you know, wave or, hey, how's it going? But more than likely you get it back. However, I can assure you that if you see a stranger or anybody that if you are, if you look disgruntled, if you got the RBF, you know what I'm talking about, that you're probably not going to get a smile back or, hey, like that person's going to want to avoid you. So a lot of these things, the not smiling, the not, you know, being a, a nice person to your, your neighbor or your stranger and assuming negative intentions or bad intentions, those are things that are, in my opinion, and actually some science behind it that are pre-wired in our brains and we'd like to get away from and and that's what I'm trying to get away from and trying to say here is is don't always like literally everything going out here I, I always say at the end of the episode try to apply these things to your life because you can listen to all the best advice listen to all the best podcasts read all these awesome books but if you don't apply it doesn't mean anything so right here as we're talking about this think about your own life and I challenge you tomorrow as you go out and through your day or through the rest of your day after this podcast episode but just tell yourself assume good intention so you guys know that especially follow me on Instagram that I have a whiteboard right behind me and I have probably 10 to 15 quotes on it that I read every single day before I go to work since I'm working from my home and one of them is assume good intention so an example is I get an email from my boss. I automatically think, oh, man, you fucked up. You did something wrong. You got to do this huge project. And and first of all, why would any of that be negative? Even if it was negative, it's not negative. Like a project, this is your job, man. You, can, you got work to do, but typically it's not anything bad. So why am I seeing a silly email? Like uh, one comes up under the manager's name and I automatically think like it's going to be bad. So my challenge to you, as I was saying, is go through your day and see how many things you're just, you hear something, you hear like news, right? News is a good one, but it's kind of designed for that. But anything like your wife, your husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, father, brother, sister, mother, they do something, they say something, and you automatically assume it's going to be bad. So my ultimate challenge to you is to assume good intention. Oh, you get a text, you're like, oh shit, that's going to be, they're going to make me do this, or they're going to make me do that, or they're going to want this, or they're going to want that. But assume good intention. It kind of goes with, instead of thinking about all the things that I can fail, or what happens if I fail, think about what happens if I succeed. So even though your brain may be wired to think about the negative or think about the worst thing that could happen, do your best. And that's why I write these things down, but do your best to remind yourself at least once a day and try to practice throughout your day of where you may be thinking negatively about something even before you even consciously think about it, if that makes sense. So like the immediate thoughts that come to your head will be negative, maybe, most likely in my <laughs> in my world, and I'm working on it, but go ahead and be like, shit, that immediate thought when I first saw that alert or when that person talked to me was, this isn't gonna be good. So think about how it could be good and think about all the possibilities about focusing on that and the excitement that can come inversely of like the fear, living in fear, perpetual fear, may I say, instead of assuming that it's good. So every time that this person texts me or every time I hear from my manager or every time, whatever it is, you assume good tension and you're like, oh, cool. I can't wait to hear what this person has to say instead of the opposite. So it's time for a recap. Assume good intention, no matter what it is. If it's the email from the boss, if it's an alert from your banking account, maybe you got more money, maybe you're getting a promotion, but assume good intention and do your best to rewire your brain and not assume that the worst thing is gonna happen. And as we talked about in the book, The Coddling of the American Mind, which I do recommend it so far, even though I'm in the beginning portions of it, but do not catastrophize your scenario do not go down the rabbit hole of what if the bad thing can happen. I actually challenge you furthermore to go down the rabbit hole of the good things that could happen. And that could be a good imagination technique to think about how you get to where you want to go and how far you can actually go. <laughs> All right, my friends, thank you so much for listening. I always appreciate it. I took some time off. I needed it, and I'm just more than ready to continue to build upon myself and to help you build upon your life as well. Join me on Instagram. We're doing a workout challenge. There's like 20 people signed up, and it is the never hashtag never-ending workout challenge. So just put the hashtag in that or tag me on Instagram at Christoph Lewis, and it's literally just consistently working out every single day, and we're doing that because I believe in the holistic approach to mental and physical fitness, and I believe that 
that if you also focus on physical fitness, you will see a change in your mental well-being and inversely as well. If you take care of your mind, you'll be more inclined to take care of yourself physically. And when you take care of yourself holistically, a lot of times your life just seems to get better overall and be patient. And the thing is, is no, we're not going hard to the walls every single day in the gym or running 10 miles every day. It is just something active. Maybe you buy it to work today. Maybe you walk around the block during your day because you're remote working and you should probably get up anyway, but do something every single day. Keep the consistency up, build the momentum, and I think you'll be surprised with the results because we're going for long term here, long term results, results that want to stay. And I'm not just talking about the physicality of it. I'm talking about mentally. Same with the whole entire episode, rewiring our brain for good. We want to do that with consistency, little things every single day. So remind yourself daily, assume good intention, and it's Friday. Have the best Friday ever, and I hope you have a good weekend too. Spend time with your family and your loved ones, and I'll catch you next week. See ya. What?